January 26, the unexpected letter. Your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Matthew chapter 6 verse 32, New Language Translation. We were out of food and out of money to buy more food. Not that we usually had a surplus of either money or food. We were newlyweds from two poor families who felt called into the ministry. Yet, as hard as we tried, our income did not cover our expenses. My husband was in his fourth year of ministerial training at a Midwestern college. His work at a college-run industry paid for his tuition and books. I found secretarial work with a large accounting firm in the heart of the city. My salary barely covered our living expenses. Unexpected medical bills had left us totally broke. As I handed the city bus driver my final token, I walked slowly to the back of the bus, wondering how long it would take me to walk into work the next morning. I figured I would have to be up by at least 5 a.m. to get there in time. I wish I had summoned the courage to ask the older secretary at the office for a few dimes until our next paycheck. But I felt intimidated by her. I didn't want any of my co-workers to know how desperate our situation was. I began to count the blocks I would have to walk to and from work starting the next day. 22, 23, 24, I couldn't bring myself to count any farther. As the bus pulled up to a stop in front of a small grocery store across from the college, I stepped out and with sadness, watch it depart. Then, I started up the steep stairs to our apartment above the store. I did not expect to be greeted with a big smile by my husband, but he opened the door with a joyful flourish. I got a letter from my mother today, he said. And guess what? What? I responded with a twinge of hope. She sold my sheepskin coat, the one I wore working during the winter on the railroad section crew, and she sent us the $10 she got for it. He triumphantly held up a bill. I was overwhelmed that God had impressed my mother-in-law to sell the jacket and send us the money so it would arrive just in time to save a young bride from a long walk. I felt ashamed at my despair and lack of faith. I had hoped the Lord would help us find 10 cents for the next day's bus fare. But he had sent 100 times that much. Teresa A. Salas